Hello everyone and welcome back to War Thunder with Hippodiopis. Previously in this series we have looked at two different British fighters that played quite a minor role in the skies above Finland. This time though we focus on an Italian fighter which achieved a stunning 33 to 1 victory ratio in Finnish service. That plane was the Fiat G50. In War Thunder the G50 isn't quite as remarkable. It can be found in the newly released Italian deck tree at battle rating 1.7 for both variants. If you are a veteran player you may also have the G50 in the German tree as well. The Serie 2 variant has better climb performance while the AS7 one can carry two 50kg bombs. Otherwise the two variants are pretty much the same. Since Italy has no ground forces yet, the AS7 can truly be used for ground support role. The Fiat G50 presents a gameplay style that is something in between a biplane style uh, dogfighting and later monoplane fighters. The G50 can often outrun many biplanes, but it can also turn better than many other monoplanes. If you pick the wrong strategy though, it will quickly result in your death. The armament only consists of two heavy machine guns, which aren't so effective against higher battle rating enemies. Let's quickly go through the uh, development of the G50. The Fiat G50 was developed in the mid to late 1930s based on the requirements set forth by the Italian Air Force. The plane was competing against several other projects from different companies such as the Maki C200. In February 1937 the first flight of the aircraft was conducted. Later that year the first series of 45 G50s was ordered by the Italians. In October 1938 the first planes of that order were ready. Nine series were produced altogether, with production ending in 1942. Improvements to the design resulted in the G50 BIS variant, which had more fuel capacity and better armor. The G50 had its baptism by fire in the Spanish Civil War. By the early 1940s the design was considered somewhat outdated when it came to speed and armament. The Finnish Air Force was interested in the G50 from early on in 1937. In October 1939, when tensions were increasing with the Soviet Union, the Finns bought 25 aircraft from Italy. During the Winter War, 10 more G50s were bought. The Italian Air Force did not have enough fighters itself, and so the Finnish aircraft had to be sourced from many different places. Some came straight from the factory, some from repair depots, and some were taken from Italian units that were very unhappy with the decision. Due to this, the Finns received differing sub-variants of the plane, which would make maintenance difficult during the wars. The delivery of the aircraft took time, as Germany did not allow weapons destined to Finland to travel through its territory. The G-50s arrived in parts to Sweden, where they were assembled and then flown to Finland. Italian and Hungarian pilots took part in delivering the planes. The first aircraft finally arrived in December 18th of 1939. The last aircraft was delivered in June 1940. Two G-50s were lost along their way to Finland, bringing the total amount of planes to 33. The planes were given Finnish serial numbers FA-1 to FA-35 after Fiat. Seven of the planes had closed cockpits, but these were soon modified into open cockpits in order to improve visibility. The open cockpit wasn't ideal though during the winter war, when temperatures occasionally plummeted to minus 40 Celsius. Talking about winter, the Finns experimented with installing skis to the G-50s already during the winter war. One plane was installed with an experimental drop tank, but it was not adapted to wider use. Otherwise, the Finnish Fiats had standard Italian equipment. The engine was the Fiat's own 840 horsepower A74. The armament was two 12.7mm Breda Safat machine guns with a San Giorgio reflector sight. The G-50 was already in combat over Finland before it was delivered to any proper Finnish Air Force squadron. On the 13th of January, Captain Ernrud, who was serving in the test flight squadron, took off alone with his uh, Fiat after alarm was sounded. He encountered nine Soviet SP-2 bombers, shooting down one and damaging two others. A few weeks later, he shot down a lonely DB-3 bomber while still in the service of the test flight squadron. Lentolaiwe 26 or Squadron 26 was the sole operator of the G-50s during the Winter War and Continuation War. On the 26th of February 1940, after only 10 days of training with the Type, the squadron had its first combat with the Italian fighter. They shot down one I-16 during a fight with Soviet bombers and fighters. However, 
On the next day, one Fiat was lost in air combat with Soviet Chaika fighters. A few days later, before the end of the Winter War, one Finnish Moran Solnier MS-406 and one Fiat encountered three Chaikas over the Gulf of Viborg. Two Chaikas were shot down with no losses to the Finns. Altogether, the Finns claimed 13 kills for the G-50s during the Winter War. One G-50 and one pilot were lost. During the war, Italian volunteer pilots and mechanics arrived in Finland to help with the G-50s. One Italian pilot was killed in an accident. When the continuation war began on the 25th of June 1941, Squadron 26 with its uh, Fiat G-50s was fully trained and prepared. It was during the first two years of that war when the G-50s would earn their place in the history books. On the first day of the war, 25th of June, the Finnish G-50s shot down 13 Soviet bombers that were attacking Finnish cities with no losses to themselves. On the 4th of July 1941, Staff Sergeant Oiva Tuominen, whom I've already mentioned in the Gladiator episode, was leading a patrol of G-50s. He encountered a flight of Soviet SP-2 bombers. Attacking head-on, Tuominen shot down four of them. He eventually became the most successful G-50 pilot, having 23 kills with the Type. Two other Finnish pilots became aces with the G-50. Lieutenant Puhakka had 11 kills and Second Lieutenant Tronti had 6 kills. In 1941, the Finnish Fiats of Squadron 26 had shot down 52 enemy planes for the loss of one G-50. In 1942, the G-50s still had some success despite the odds getting stacked against them. On the 12th of August 1942, a Fiat patrol led by Lieutenant Puhakka encountered a flight of I-16s. Four I-16s were shot down for no losses to the Fiats. The 24th of August was a busy day for Squadron 26. At the end of the day, six I-16s had been shot down for no losses to the G-50s. A few days later, two Fiat patrols led by Tuominen and Puhakka were sent above Lake Ladoga to counter Soviet air activity. Flying in low clouds, they stumbled upon a mixed formation of 20 Soviet aircraft. Two Chaikas, two Lagatries and one IL-2 were shot down in the ensuing dogfight with no losses to the G-50s. On the 30th of August, 1st Sergeant Paronen was flying a Fiat from maintenance back to his unit. On his way back, he was faced with a swarm of approximately 30 Soviet aircraft. He shot down one of them and escaped unharmed. The Fiats did not see much combat late in 1942, and in 1943 they were starting to become obsolete. On the 2nd of May 1943, a G-50 patrol led by 2nd Lieutenant Tronti encountered four I-15Bis fighters and two Chaika fighters. One I-15 bis and one Chaika were shot down for no losses to the Fiats. These were the only Fiat kills in 1943 and they were also the last ones with the type in Finland. By now the Soviets were mostly using planes that were superior to the G-50. For example, on the 1st of June 1943, five G-50s were faced with two MiG-3s. The MiG shot down one Fiat for no losses to themselves. After this, the Fiats did not see much combat service. Lack of spare parts and flight accidents had also withered their numbers considerably. In early 1944, the planes were taken out of frontline service. By the autumn of 1944, the last nine Fiat G-50s were relegated to training use. During the continuation war, the Fiats had shot down 88 enemy aircraft. Two G-50s were lost in air combat, one to anti-aircraft fire, three from technical faults and six from accidents. Four G-50 pilots had been killed. 101 enemy aircraft were shot down altogether during the Second World War by the Finnish Fiat G-50s, for the loss of three in air combat. After the war, the planes were still used for training until December of 1946. In January 1950, the G-50 was removed from Finnish Air Force inventory. Unfortunately, it seems that none of the planes survived the after-war scrapping craze. I think that's it for the Fiat G50. I hope you liked this bit longer episode. Please leave a like and a comment and uh, subscribe for future videos in the series. I'll see you on the next one.